Up for sale, 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 65 Mustang Fastback, 2 plus 2, finished in a Wimbledon white with black interior, 289 C code, now with a four barrel carburetor, and a factory four speed with a top loader trans. As always, you know, go around it, tell you everything I do know about it, point out everything I do see, fire it up, and then drive it. Uh, so of course, we'll start here in the front, just focusing on the chrome right now, which honestly, is as close to a new bumper as you can see just just by looking at it uh the paint is show quality the body is laser straight the attention to detail in the finish is outstanding all the way around i mean i'll i'll show you all the nooks and crannies um long time ownership as well and let's just admire the hood there how that lines up it was painted by one of those gentlemen that people from around the country bring their cars to and obviously you know the quality of work is evident um, I know there's like maybe two marks on the whole car, one of which was done when they put the new logo on. You see that little touch up, they must have and chipped it. But other than that, you know, no rock chips, no stone chips, absolutely no bubbles. Um, you know, like I said, new front and rear chrome, new grill here. You see, I, you know, I mean, just look, just look at the body when you look down it. I know white is notorious for hiding things, but this is laser straight. This fitment, fitment to the rocker, door fitment here to the quarter is all the way it should be. And the attention to detail, you know, in here, one, a super nice car that they restored too, you know, didn't paint over anything. You know, they painted it and assembled all new pieces onto it the way they're supposed to be done. But I am gonna go ahead and pop the hood here. Uh, of course, er, as far as early 60s Mustangs go, this is the nicest one that I've had. And uh, all the black in here is beautiful. All the way around. This, this, all that looks great. Looking down, your VIN is stamped here, original. And I was told that even, you know, because they disassembled it, there's like a hidden VIN over here that that's in place. But again, 289 C code, now with the four barrel, it's an Edelbrock carb. And by looking at it, Edelbrock intake. It's got headers, stainless steel exhaust. Uh, the engine was rebuilt, I was told, about 5,000 miles ago. You can see all the new components on there, you know, radiator, water pump, etc. And the firewall all the way back there, that's super nice. Under hood, just just as nice as the rest of the car and uh, we will go down the driver's side as always it's got the right wheels on there white letter tires always the one of the best looks look at that fitment there on the door going up course there's no cracks in the glass window moldings trim around it is all super super nice look at the look at the well new piece there but then that finish as well as your finish in here finish to the top you know all these pieces were out I was told that the glass was out you know everything so it was not painted with anything on the car was all disassembled properly the, again you know going above and beyond look look at the finish in there you know sometimes on cars you'll see like a paint line you know something that was covered up there it was all out oh what well, just quickly I'll show you this line here now that i can focus on it and uh look how nice that is and let me I'll lay down a little bit here you that fantastic and look at that if 
even this is new. Nice finish in there, look at that. Attention to detail, not painted over. You know, newer pieces. And then, of course, your seats. Stock four-speed shifter. Your fold-down back seat. There we go. I just bumped it. New dash pad. You know, no cracks in it. Working tack. The gauges work. A couple added gauges down there work. Aftermarket radio in the glove box with the, you know, stock dashes and messed up. Horn works. Finish in there is the way you want it to be. Seat backs are nice. Their carpet back there is nice. I don't want to go through the process of folding it up, but I know you saw the picture of it. Uh, for the back seat. The back seat's just as nice as the front seats. Carpet is nice, clean, no rips. Not really faded. I showed you that. Just about as nice as the front bumper. You know, these look to be new. This looks to be new. This looks to be new. And then just here in the trunk, I'm just very impressed. And you'll see why. Just attention to detail in here. Let's just focus just on the under trunk lid. New weather stripping, you know, new bolts. This is new, new, new. And the finish and the paint. Finish in the, in the jam here. And then just the trunk itself. Look at this. With the cardboard, new gas tank. Quality of the paint. I mean, this is this is this is shiny and it's smooth. Look at that. Qu inner quarters are painted white as well. So just to, just to give you an idea of the kind of paint that it received, it, it extended into the trunk. Is what I'm getting at. I'd like to take this time refocus my camera real quick. Here we go. You see that down there? Just as nice as the other side. The finish in there. How nice this lines up. as well. It will be up for sale later today on my website nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video if you'd like to go ahead and check it out. Even the uh, little light works under there. That light works. Um, well, that one doesn't, but that one works. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and a headliner. I didn't show the headliner. This is exactly what you would expect it to be.
we are going to fire it up now, show it drive, and then get in for the driving. Thank you. shifter with no console oh yeah well it's kind of it's, it's a very clean look I don't wait to well of course everybody likes yeah. a console but Today's Jimmy's last day, right? 